Last year officially holds the highest number of anti-Semitic incidents since the Anti-Defamation League began tracking those back in 1979. And these incidents were reported in all 50 states and in D.C. Texas is one of five states with the highest numbers. Cordy Friedman breaks down the report and tells us how the community and Jewish leaders are responding. Plastic bags filled with flyers and dog food likely to weigh the bag down distributed across the Inspiration Hills neighborhood on the northwest side last month. Maybe someone's trying to sell dog food or they're trying to promote it. And then I saw swastika. Julia Barrera's videos document the latest anti-Semitic incident in San Antonio, contributing to a record number nationwide. The Anti-Defamation League's report for 2021 shows assaults nationwide are up 167 percent, harassment up 43 percent, and vandalism up 14 percent. Though San Antonio's attacks were not violent, if you look at the ADL's map, two of the latest incidents in the nation were in San Antonio. Both were in neighborhoods, but nationwide, attacks on Jewish institutions were up 61%, up 106% in K-12 schools, and up 21% on college campuses. And we'd never want to be alarmist, but we also have significant security protocols in place. Rabbi Mara Nathan with Temple Beth El says they recently took advantage of new federal funding for Jewish organizations to increase security measures, but she doesn't want those necessary moves to signal fear. I think overall the Jewish community feels safe and welcome in San Antonio. They picked the wrong city. <laughs> We're so inclusive. Rabbi Nathan proud of the neighborhood's reaction and quest to contact the media and publicly denounce hate. I think if we look around, we see that most people are good people. Rabbi Nathan says the best way for the non-Jewish community to help with this is to become ambassadors of their Jewish neighbors. The way to start is learning about Judaism. If you'd like, you can always take a tour of the synagogues Bethel holds them year round. Reporting from Bethel, Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.